I'm sure you've heard the news about nanotechnology making waves everywhere. But have you ever wondered what happens when magnetism gets miniaturized? Today, we're zooming in on magnetic nanoparticles, the real MVPs at the nanoscale. So, what exactly are magnetic nanoparticles? Well, think of them as super tiny particles, usually made from iron, nickel, or cobalt, that come with their own built-in magnetic powers. We're talking about objects thousands of times smaller than a grain of sand, but with a magnetic punch that's totally out of proportion to their size. Why should you care? Because when you shrink stuff down to the nanoscale, the rules of physics start to change. Magnetic nanoparticles can act in ways that their bigger cousins just can't. Here's where it gets wild. Inside each particle, all the little magnetic moments, think of them like tiny compass arrows, can line up perfectly. This makes them super responsive to magnetic fields and means we can control and manipulate them with incredible precision. So what's the big deal? Well, these magnetic nanoparticles are revolutionizing everything from medicine, like delivering drugs right to cancer cells, to making faster, smarter electronics. Scientists are even using them to clean up pollution and develop new ways to store energy. In short, magnetic nanoparticles may be tiny, but their impact is anything but. Next time you hear the word nano, remember, sometimes, the smallest things have the biggest superpowers. Let's shrink things down to the nanoscale where magnets take on a whole new personality. Magnetic nanoparticles are so small, their properties completely flip the script compared to your fridge magnet. The magic starts with their size. When you're this tiny, you get a massive surface-to-volume ratio, which means the atoms on the surface rule the show. This changes how these particles interact with each other and with the world around them. Now, here's the cool part, superparamagnetism. Unlike big bulky magnets, these guys only become magnetic when you hit them with an external field. Turn off the field, and poof, they lose all magnetization, no lingering magnetic memory, and absolutely no hysteresis. It's like the ultimate on-off switch for magnetism. But there's a twist. If you cool them down enough, below something called the blocking temperature, their magnetic moments freeze in place. Below this point, you lose the super paramagnetism and things get really interesting. Because of all these quirks, tiny size, surface effects, and that wild super paramagnetism, magnetic nanoparticles are VIPs in science. They're making waves in biomedical imaging, targeted drug delivery, and even environmental cleanup. So next time you think about magnets, remember, when you go nano, magnetism isn't just smaller, it's smarter. Science students, the nanoscale is calling. Are you ready to answer? Let's check some real-life applications. 1. Biomedical applications. One exciting application is in medicine. Imagine using magnetic nanoparticles to precisely target and treat diseases. Doctors can guide these nanoparticles to specific areas in the body using external magnets. This targeted approach reduces side effects and enhances the effectiveness of treatments. In the world of medicine, an exciting breakthrough is happening with magnetic nanoparticles. Picture this, tiny particles, that can be directed to specific areas in the body using external magnets. This means doctors can target diseases with pinpoint accuracy instead of traditional treatments that affect the whole body. These nanoparticles zoom in on the problem, reducing side effects and boosting treatment effectiveness. Imagine battling cancer or other illnesses without the usual harsh side effects. This targeted approach not only makes treatment safer but also more efficient. As research continues, the potential for these magnetic nanoparticles is enormous, paving the way for innovative therapies that could change lives. The future of medicine is looking bright, and it's all thanks to these tiny, powerful particles. Magnetic nanoparticles are making waves in environmental cleanup. Imagine these tiny magnets zipping around, pulling pollutants right out of water and soil. They're like little superheroes for our planet, tackling contaminants that threaten ecosystems. These nanoparticles can latch onto harmful substances, making it easier to remove them from the environment. Whether it's heavy metals in water or toxic chemicals in soil, these tiny warriors are effective and efficient. Using magnetic nanoparticles not only helps clean up our surroundings, but also paves the way for safer, healthier communities. As researchers continue to explore their potential, the future looks bright for cleaner air and water. So next time pollution is on the radar, remember these tiny magnets could be the key to a cleaner, greener world. They're not just science fiction, they're a real solution for a healthier planet.
In the world of electronics, magnetic nanoparticles play a vital role. These tiny particles are the unsung heroes, behind data storage devices like hard drives. Imagine being able to control the magnetic orientation of these nanoparticles. This capability is what makes it possible to store and retrieve information quickly and efficiently as data demands grow. These nanoparticles are becoming even more important. They allow for higher storage capacities and faster access times, making our devices smarter and more responsive, from your favorite movies to important documents. Magnetic nanoparticles help keep everything safe and sound. So, the next time, a hard drive wears to life. Remember the tiny magnetic particles working behind the scenes, ensuring that your data is just a click away. It's a fascinating blend of science and technology that keeps our digital world spinning. Magnetic nanoparticles can be synthesized using several methods. The most common techniques include co-precipitation, thermal decomposition, hydrothermal or solvothermal processes, and microemulsion. Each method provides distinct advantages when it comes to controlling the size, shape, and crystallinity of the particles. Let us focus on co-precipitation. This approach is popular for its simplicity and efficiency in producing magnetite nanoparticles. It involves reacting ferrous and ferric ions with a base in an aqueous solution. The process is generally exothermic and can be performed at room temperature or higher. Key factors such as the ratio of ferrous to ferric ions as well as the pH of the solution play a crucial role in determining the particle size and distribution. Additionally, coating agents like oleic acid or sodium citrate can be used to modify the surface of the nanoparticles and enhance their dispersion. Understanding these synthesis methods is essential for tailoring magnetic nanoparticles to specific scientific applications. Another method for synthesizing magnetic nanoparticles is called thermal decomposition. This technique involves breaking down organometallic precursors at high temperatures with surfactants present. Surfactants play a key role, helping to control particle size and prevent the particles from sticking together. This method is well known for producing magnetic nanoparticles with good size control and a narrow size distribution. For instance, magnetite nanoparticles can be made by decomposing iron 3 acetylacetonate in the presence of surfactants such as oleic acid and olelamine. Another widely used technique is the hydrothermal or solvothermal method. This approach uses high temperature and pressure, either in water or in a non-aqueous medium, to crystallize materials. It is especially useful for making magnetic nanoparticles with high crystallinity, as well as the desired shape and size. The reaction conditions, including temperature, pressure, and the choice of solvent, all have a significant impact on the final properties of the nanoparticles. Understanding these synthesis methods is essential for tailoring magnetic nanoparticles for specific scientific and technological applications. Microemulsion. Picture this. You mix oil, water, and a surfactant, and you get this stable, tiny world where the chemical reaction happens. This microemulsion acts like a mini-lab, controlling where the reaction takes place and, more importantly, how big your magnetic nanoparticles get. You can go with an oil in water or water in oil setup, depending on what you need. The big win here? You get nanoparticles that are nearly identical in size. Monodisperse, for the science geeks out there. But microemulsion isn't alone. Electrochemical synthesis is another awesome option. You basically use electrodes to drive the chemical reaction, and this gives you a lot of control over the size and shape of your nanoparticles. It's pretty slick if you want precision. Now, here's where things get loud. Sonochemical synthesis. This method uses ultrasound waves. When the waves pass through your liquid, they create these crazy tiny bubbles that collapse and start the reaction. It's like a microscopic explosion that kickstarts nanoparticle formation. The Soljo method is a classic. I've talked about it before. Check out that link in the description if you want the full breakdown. In short, you start with metal alkoxides, add water, and through some chemical magic, okay, hydrolysis and condensation, you end up with a gel that you can process into nanoparticles. Two more rapid-fire spray pyrolysis, where you turn a solution into aerosol droplets and blast them into a reactor to make particles, and laser pyrolysis, which uses, you guessed it, a laser to heat up gases and kickstart the reaction. So, which method should you use? It all depends on your needs, the type of particle, the size, and how many you want to make. There's a method for every mission. Stay curious.
Stay curious and keep exploring the tiny but mighty world around you. Thank you for watching this video. Keep smiling and keep sharing love and science. See you in the next video.